Hello and welcome to episode 30 of Cooking Every Food in the Game. We are just south of Castle Wars to start our adventure today, surrounded by a lot of swamp toads, as we will be catching some chompies and cooking those. But the main prize of today's mission is the wild pie. We will be finishing our collection of pies that we've cooked. So to catch these chompies, we have ogre bellows, which we fill up on these swamp bubbles. And what we do is we use these ogre bellows on one of these slippery swamp toads. And we pump him up and inflate him, poor fella. So we'll do this to a couple of them, as we're going to be catching more than just one chompy. Now I'm going to catch multiple chompies because I want to cook a chompy for you all and show how that's done. I also want to make multiple wild pies. As you can see, we have multiple pie shells in our inventory, as there is a chance we'll burn it, and we don't want that to happen, do we? Now that we've laid down our bloated toads, we should have a chompy appearing any moment, and we can't exactly bonk him with our rolling pin. So we're going to swap our green gear out for similar green gear, being dragon hide and an ogre bow, and our equipped ogre arrows will take down the chompy for us. All right, here's some chompies. So we attack these bludgers. There we go, there's the first one down. Oh no, he's eating our toad. Oh no, you don't. And we'll attack him and won't let him get away. Excellent. All right, so what you do is you pluck the chompy bird and you obtain feathers, as well as the raw chompy. Uh, we'll pick up our ogre arrows. We'll pluck this chompy bird as well. Alright, so we'll do this until we get five chompies, four for our pies, and one to cook on our own. So I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, there's our five chompy birds. Now, in order to cook the chompy, it cannot be cooked simply on a fire. Uh, you may have gleaned from our inventory, we are carrying our trusty iron spit. So I'm going to chop ourselves a wee log. We're going to put the raw chompy on the spit to get a skewered chompy. We're going to make ourselves a fire. And we're going to cook our skewered chompy. Excellent. And there you have cooked chompy, so we'll tick that one off our list. Let's move on to the other ingredients of the wild pie. The first of which, bear meat. Right, so we're going to use our mind altar teleport here. Teleport to the mind altar north of Falador, near the wilderness ditch here. As if I recall correctly, there are some bears around here. Excellent, or at least one. There's a black bear. Oh, we've got another one over there. All right, so we'll bonk these a couple times and we will get some raw bear meat. Right, so before we add the raw bear meat into our pie shell, I say we go and collect the final ingredient, uh, which is rabbit meat. So we're going to have to leave our feathers behind from our chompies, but that's okay. We'll teleport to our house. As it is a special episode, being episode 30, you can see my inefficient dwelling. And we will oh, not use the fairy ring. A bit of a goose. We will use the spirit tree to go to Prifinus. Oh, we've got one up here. Oh, and another one just here. Okay. So let's bonk a couple rabbits and get the raw rabbits. Sorry, pals, but we need your meat. Okay, we have our four raw rabbits. Let's head to our favorite kitchen and make our wild pies. Okay, here we are at our favorite range. So the first ingredient we need to add to our pie shell, which we've made in a previous episode, is the raw bear meat. Right, so we'll make all of these part wild pie. You can see now we have our pie dish with our raw meat in it. Then we add a raw chompy to our part wild pie. 
And we can see now we've just basically stacked the bird on top of the bear meat there. Finally, we add the raw rabbit to the part wild pie. And this will give us raw wild pies. Now, surely we won't burn all four. Let's add these to the range and cook these up. Oh, we cooked the first one. Perfect. And as we can see, they raise our, obviously, our hit points, but our slayer and our range level. So very handy when you're trying to boost to pay, maybe take on some kind of slayer monster. Uh, and you see we did burn one in the end. That's unfortunate. But there you have it. That is how you make a wild pie. That's episode 30. Please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe as we are definitely over halfway this journey. We've cooked many, many foods, but there's many, many more to go. So I'll see you next time.